Since the mid-season update brought a lot of really interesting balance changes to the game, the most efficient way to farm Athena's fortune rep has evolved. Let me explain. Some changes from this recent update that change how you should be farming Athena rep include raid voyages being buffed to have more treasure with higher value, as well as Athena type raid voyages being buffed to only have Athena's type loot. Before this update, these raids would only end up giving you a couple of the loot that you'd expect, but also a lot of damned loot, like Ashes of the Damned or Skulls of the Damned, and even though this loot isn't really that bad, it is completely useless if your only goal is to level up your Athena's reputation. After some testing, I've come up with a strategy that I've been using that is amazing if your only goal is to get Athena's rep and nothing else. I do like to be transparent that PvP is probably the single fastest way if you're confident that you can get some decent streaks, but also not everybody hates themselves enough to play Hourglass. So let's get back to the topic at hand, let's talk about my new Athena rep farming strat. First of all, you're going to want to grab the Athena's Fortune Emissary flag. For anyone who might not know how this works, the more faction related loot you pick up and voyages you complete, you'll earn emissary grades, up to 5. Each of these grades will increase the amount of gold, reputation, and emissary value that you'll earn from turning in any loot that's related to the trading company that you're representing. So, after you've got your emissary flag and some supplies, you're going to want to head over to your ship and vote for a skeleton fleet voyage. This is by far the most efficient raid voyage for farming rep. And I know you might say, I'm high enough level to set sail on the ghost fleet voyage, why should I not do that one instead if it's higher level? And there's a couple of reasons. The main one being that it gives very, very similar loot, but takes much longer. If you're on a sloop, you'll almost always only need to fight three skeleton ships to complete the skeleton fleet raid voyage and get the high value treasure at the end. And in order to defeat the ghost fleet, regardless of your ship size, you'll need to defeat a minimum of 17 ships to complete the event. Seven from the first wave, two captains on the second wave, seven more grunt ships on the third wave, and at least the main captain in the last wave to finish it up. You'll just end up sailing around way more and using so much more supplies and time for basically the same payout. It's just not worth it. But it's important to mention that the main loot that matters is going to be the Talisman of Magnificent Fortunes. This is that high value treasure that you get at the end of the raid that I mentioned earlier. This item sells for a base value of 15,000 gold and gives a very significant amount of rep when you sell it. This makes it more than 50% more valuable than the Chest of Legends. But of course, that's not all there is to the strategy. Once you've completed the raid, I definitely recommend looking around and seeing if there's a Fort of Fortune up in your server. Fort of Fortunes are much less contested in the current state of the game, since of course, the Chest of Fortune hasn't been there for quite a while, but they are still especially valuable for players looking to level up Athena's rep because a majority of the loot in the vaults here are Athena's faction treasure. On top of this, completing these forts can be very quick, especially if you utilize kegs and fire bumps to clear out each wave of skeletons and the boss. These vaults will easily have enough loot to net you a couple of extra rep levels each time that you do them. So now that I've explained why these raid voyages are so good and why Fort of Fortunes are even better, let's quickly review what this strategy would look like from a gameplay standpoint. First, grab your emissary flag and head to your ship. Then vote for the Athena Skeleton Fleet Raid Voyage and sail out to the open sea so you can dive. Then grab the loot from each ship as you defeat them, but most importantly, make sure to get the talisman from the last one. Once you've picked this up, quickly take a look around and see if there's a Fort of Fortune up in your server. If there is, go do it. Pick up all the loot as fast as possible and go to sell it. If there is no Fort of Fortune, just go sell the treasure you got from the raid and start a new one as fast as possible. Your speed and efficiency as a crew will hugely impact how much rep you're making per hour. 